weapons, ammunition and military equipment. We're selling airsoft fully automatic gun and it shoots six millimeter um, plastic pallets and it shoots 150 rounds per second. Once fired, this will drop to the ground. This piece here will drop. This piece here will go down range and hit the subject. And the weapon itself will come back to full battery. Fire in a hole. But this is no ordinary arms fair. It's non-lethal, exactly. After about 10 minutes, you've wiped the, the subject clean and he's almost back to more normal, about 85% back to normal. Then all he needs is a little water and that's it. It's the same principle as a rubber bullet, but it's a much larger one going down, so a larger mass hits you. And it's comparable with being hit with a, a fastball from a major league player. It's non-lethal, because our company is all about saving lives. This is the North American Technology Demonstration in Ottawa, Canada. The NATD, in short, is the biggest showcase of non-lethal weapons in the world. What these technologies do is that they try to incapacitate uh, adversaries temporarily and not to cause permanent damage. The industry showcase and conference was jointly organized by the US and Canada and is sponsored by NATO. Developing non-lethal capabilities are um, a very important part of NATO's response uh, both in different battlefields uh, as part of NATO's ongoing and future operations and also uh, NATO's counter-terrorism efforts and through which NATO can actually achieve its objectives uh, in a way that, uh, that spares human life and, uh, and property too. The latest technology in the field of non-lethal capabilities ranges from blunt force weapons to pyrotechnics and are meant to control crowds, to neutralize vehicles or to incapacitate individuals without killing them. And the demand for these less lethal weapons is growing. Nowadays, uh, a lot of the officers and, and a lot of the uh, soldiers really don't want to shoot anybody to kill. They'd rather bring them in and sometimes it's a an attitude where they need to take somebody in as a prisoner and not kill them because they need to interrogate them and so on. Uh, military and law enforcement, equally we got response from both that uh, because, like I said, with the things going on around in the world right now, that they are looking for um, new non-lethal, less lethal weapon system. And yes, it's, it's, it's growing, it's growing every day. In fact, non-lethal weapons can become a game changer especially when it comes to countering terrorism. When addressing the problem of, uh, of terrorism, uh, we obviously need to find primarily non-military responses. We need to find uh, responses through which we can prevent uh, terrorism rather than deal with the consequences uh, of, uh, of terrorism. I think that all these technologies help us to achieve that objective. It's pretty... Uh threatening looking, you know, it is a weapon after all, whether it's non-lethal or not. And to be effective, I think you, you have to have that look about it too also. You can't you can have a military personnel or a police officer come out to the crowd and uh, with some kind of toy looking funny thing, you know. Uh, uh, so I think it's, it, the look has to be effective as well. So yes, it is a little threatening looking. So non-lethal or not, the use of less lethal weapons should still not be taken lightly. I'm Karsten Reniers, reporting for the NATO Channel from Ottawa, Canada.